as we were discussing in the last lesson, one of the things about doing, doing web searches is, is that there's so much data out there. One of the problems with so much data out there is you often will get what we call variant data. That is, different versions of the same piece of information. Even something as simple as a simple fact might have some more subtlety involved in it. Here, for example, we're comparing the results of the circumference of the Earth. You can go to Google and do that search. But one thing to think about is, does that fact vary based on some contextual information that you may or may not appreciate? So for example, we know the circumference of the Earth varies if you measure it around the equator versus measuring it around the poles. If you don't know that, you could, might believe that a single number is a perfect description of the circumference of the Earth and that it is, in fact, a perfect sphere. It's very close to a perfect sphere, but there is variation. One of the things to do with Google search, since it's so fast, is that you can explore the variations in these ideas and understand whether or not you have the piece of data, the fact that actually describes the circumstances and the context that you're really trying to understand. One piece of advice that's given to every investigative reporter, every detective follows, and every good searcher should follow is you want to identify those sources. If someone says, a blogger writes, or you overhear something like, 63% of all kids looked at pictures of funny cats today, one of the first things you should be asking yourself is where did that come from? Now, using Google search, how would you determine that? Well, what I would probably do is put in perhaps a quoted phrase search, 63% of all kids. That's going to be likely to show up something in that space. You might want to then add a quoted phrase, funny cats. You can play around with these different phrases and searches and combinations as a way of identifying what the original source was and not just a copy of a copy of a copy. Whenever you ask a question like this, you want to understand where did that number come from, how is it measured, and what are the other factors that go into making that assertion true or not true, credible or not credible. An important technique to know about is that you shouldn't be baking the answer to your question into your query. This is a problem I see a lot in classes I teach, where people will do a query like this one. The average length of an octopus is 18 inches. Let's show you what that actually looks like. If I do a query like the average length of an octopus, 18. You get some very nice looking results here. And in fact, the very first one, so you see 20 pounds in weight and 24 inches in length. But then the second result says, if you look in the snippet, 18 inches across and a little bit farther down, 36, 18 by 18. What I see people doing in a common failure mode for them is that they will scan these initial results, find the thing that they were asking about, in this case, 18 inches, and think that their hypothesis is confirmed. Don't be misled. The snippet is an abstraction of the underlying web page. It may actually be an extraction, and if you're looking for confirmation, you fall suspect to what we call the confirmation bias. That is, you're only looking for things that you believe already exist. In fact, what you should be doing is a query more like average length octopus. By adding the phrase, is 18 inches, you're looking for a repeat of something you already know. One of the things to keep in mind here is that there are different ways to phrase that information seeking process you're going through. You can look for confirmation of information you already know, or you can try to find the range of variation, things that are out there. What you should do as a good searcher is to try to gather information about the entire space of what's going on, and then use your skills to synthesize, filter, and organize that information to get to the bottom of it.